And this shows and indicates that this religion of Islam, it encourages us with hygiene and cleanliness and good etiquettes and good practices. And therefore there is no religion like the religion of Islam. And also from the etiquettes or the good practices of Islam, is that which pertains to answering the call of nature. Firstly, it is an obligation for a person when urinating that he is far removed and concealed from the sight of the people. For example, closing the door. No. Or if he is in an open space hiding behind a tree or a stone or being far away from the people. And from the etiquettes is that a person does not enter into the lavatories with anything which contains the name of Allah like the Quran or the Mus'haf. Also, when a person enters into that place, then he is obligated to stop mentioning well, the name of Allah. And neither does he converse or have any normal speech. And also, before a person enters into the toilets, he says, in the name of Allah, and then he says, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika mil khubthi wal khaba'ith. And when he enters the toilet, he enters with his left foot. And when he exits from the toilet, he exits with his right foot. And after he has exited, he seeks forgiveness by saying Ghufranak. And also when urinating uh, or answering the call of nature, neither does he face the Qibla with his front, nor does he give his back to the Qibla. And from the etiquettes of answering the call of nature, that he does not do so in any place or path which would harm others, whether they are non-Muslims or the people of innovation. Also, a person is not permitted to urinate in still standing water and he does not touch his private parts with his right hand. And he is permitted to urinate standing up but with two conditions. That firstly, the droplets of urine do not splash back onto him or his clothing and also that his aura or his private parts are not exposed in front of others.